What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mass Effect. We are here with Atticus on the Normandy. We are in the Voyager cluster. There is one more system here I would like to check out. And then I want to hop over to the Asteroid X-57 and see about starting that. I believe that is the DLC. So let's just go ahead and get right to it. Do this last little system here in the Voyager. And then head on over. Because this may very well be nothing here. But there is another one that we didn't go. We went to the Yangtze first. We knocked out Cerberus here. And then we went over here to the Columbia and whooped Cerberus' ass there as well. So let's go to the Amazon. Maybe there's more Cerberus here, and maybe there's more Rachni, since they were studying Rachni. Commander, incoming signal from 5th Fleet HQ on the Citadel. Commander Shepard, something uncomfortable has just come up. In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? The first contact war was... When the hell did Shepard say that was? He was talking to Presley in the beginning, he said, what, that was like over, over 30 years ago, right? That's quite a delay. Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. Lost in transit? It doesn't matter straightforward enough? And this is a problem, why? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. Yeah, that's pretty damn serious. I understand this must be handled, but I don't have anyone trained to deal with this sort of thing, sir. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. <laughs> Motherfucker said... Shepard just said, we don't have anybody to deal with this, and then he goes, I know, that's why I'm sending you. What? Mother effer? We don't know what we're doing, we're gonna get blown up. It shouldn't be over there? It's in the Voyager cluster. That's the opposite side of the Alliance from Turian space. How did it get there? I don't know. It's possible someone recovered it safely and brought it there. It's also possible it got very badly lost. It could have been wandering the relay network since the war. Really? Where is it? We're busy. We'll handle it. We'll get on it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. I appreciate that, Commander. Good luck. Fifth Fleet out. Take it easy. H. Binium? Oh, this is where we land. Sanidma? Sanidma? Sure. Sadnima is a second of Amazon system's arid super-terrestrial worlds. It is considerably less dense than its neighbor, Thernisa, and has an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of iron lace silicates with deposits of sulfur. Sure. Rare element surveyed. While scanning the planet, you detected a small deposit of polonium. Well, there we go. A lot of tongue twisters here. Dernicia? Maybe the E's silent? The Nusa is a enormous terrestrial world nearly twice the size of Earth. Its environmental is similar to that of Mars, arid, and a mix of craggy basalt highlands and sand scoured deserts of iron lace silicate dust. The Noosa's atmosphere mainly consists of carbon dioxide and argon, but the planet's mass is great enough that measurable amounts of helium and even hydrogen remain trapped in its atmosphere. The planet's gravity well is deep enough that it has collected nearly a dozen small satellites, most captured asteroids. Its surface is scarred by many large impact craters, marking the final resting place of other captured asteroids. Alright, easy peasy. All right, so we got this one. Cybin? 
A small rock in ice planet Sybin has an extremely thin atmosphere of hydrogen, sulfide, and ethane. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of magnesium and silicates of deposits of iron. Sybin's crust contains significant deposits of green serpentine, a mineral formed by volcanic activity. This suggests Sybin was more geologically active world in the distant past. Well, it's this nothing now, huh? Hurrian insignia recovered. While scanning the planet Sybin, you discovered a large mine grid in Geosynchronous orbit? Sure. With help from Navigator Presley, your recon team recovered a small unmanned probe marked with the Quadrim Outpost Insignia. These words, I feel like I just make them up. They're probably not even nowhere as close to what they actually are. But I guess that's something. Tremar? Tremor is a standard hydrogen-helium gas giant with traces of methane and nitrogen in its upper atmosphere. Gas deposit surveyed. Scans of the orbit had detected a large concentration of nitrogen. Get out. Alright, well, I think that may be it. See any asteroids anywhere? Age Binium? Age Binium. Look at this red planet. Oh, wow. Age Binium is a small terrestrial world with an extremely thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and krypton. Though the planet has sufficient mass to maintain a much thicker atmosphere, much of it has been blasted away. The red giant Amazon is a long period variable star currently at the nadar of a 16 year cycle. At peak its energy output doubles lashing Age Binium with intense heat and radiation. The crust is mainly composed of aluminum with deposits of tin. Most of the surface is coated with fine silicate dust which easily penetrates the smallest cracks to foul machinery. So nothing can work here then. No kinds of machines whatsoever. Interesting place. Who should we bring here? Who haven't we seen in a while? I would love to bring Liara and Rex. Let's bring Liara. It's been a while. Let's bring Garrus. Caden? Rex? Tally? Let's bring Garrus and Tally. Sure. It's always a tough decision on who to bring. I never know who to bring. Because I just want to bring everybody, you know? But I know we can't. Do we have any level ups? Tally probably does. I feel like we don't bring Tally enough. We got assault training for Garrus, and I believe that's what we were trying to do. We can not. Yeah, let's keep doing assault training because this is weapon damage for Garrus. Tally, you have four? Basic armor for Tally. She is stacked out now, friends. And then we want Tally on. Should we work on dampening? Let's put one in dampening because this. What? Does damage in a 6 meter radius. Enemies cannot use biotic and tech abilities for a short... Oh, just locks down people that has any kind of tech and biotic abilities. Yippee. Easy peasy. Alright, well, let's see. We have... This is where the beacon is coming from. Let's do a bit of exploring. And then make our way over to the Alliance Home and Beacon. So far, we have deposit here, here, here. I didn't make it to the facility yet, but... This was some loot in a crash probe, and we are at the anomaly right here, right now. So let's see what this is. This place has been an absolute nightmare. I think this is the most rigid place that we've definitely seen so far. Easy peasy. Turian Insignia recovered. This body is a long way from anything and appears to have been here for quite some time. On the body is a book of drawings, including one of the Skyglar outpost insignia. All right, well, let's head over to the whatever it is. Oh shit! There's another one on the map here. Get out! It's a hidden question mark or question mark that didn't show. 
That like changes the ball game though, you know? It makes me really want to explore every single nook of these places. There's there's always like some places on the map that you just can't get to. You want to because you just know there's got to be like a thresher mall or something over there. But then there's just nothing. You can't get up the hill. Discovery. Brushing away the carbonization on the door of the Contra Gravity Speeder. You see a Nizo brand name, judging by the charring, the wreckage has been here since the star's last viable peak. The corpse is wearing the remains of an expensive suit, and what appears to be melted antique aviator goggles? What? Did it. Okay. Well, let's head over to the main post then. Alliance Homing Beacon. Look at this view here, friends. Oh my word. Absolutely so cool. You think it's hot, that planet? Whatever that is. I love this place. This place is so cool because it's got that red tint to it. It's just so mysterious looking. Well, there, there's nobody here. But there is stuff outside. Alright, well, let's call some ruckus then. Look at this fucking planet, man. The signal's coming from a mine? Suspicious. I agree. The probe did not crash. Someone moved it here. Whoever did it is in danger? Doesn't change the objective? No kidding? Well, whoever did it is in danger, but also everyone else is in danger if anyone's even living here, though I doubt it. They may not know what they have. Let's find it before they set it off. Affirmative. They may not know what they have? Shepard, I think they took it here for a reason. They had to. You just don't pick up a big ass... ...fucking bomb. What is this? What could this possibly be? You know? Yeah. They brought it here for a reason. Had to. <laughs> I love funny dialogue, man. I really do. These mother efforts brought it here because they are gonna, they're gonna use it. Some kind of warfare, probably. Maybe the Geth brought it here for reasons. This place is really packed full with stuff here. Well, not like stuff, but it's just. They got so much shit in here. Do you see anybody? Anyone home? Well, this is definitely a trap if I've ever seen one. Felt one. This is for sure a trap. Why wouldn't it be? Maybe the Gather setting us up here? Somehow? That was a detonator, Commander. Shepard. At last. Who were you? At last? Have we met? You don't remember me. <laughs> no matter. I remember you. I never forget anyone I've fought. My name is Ilanos Heliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus Clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe. An acclaimed leader? How should I know and who cares? Who cares? You assume I give a damn. That's cute. <laughs> the strongest leads. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the verge. The Skillion Blitz, you attacked Elysium? Oh, this is the... Our backstory here, kinda. You're the one behind the attack on Elysium. I was the motivator. The instigator. The one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Failed. Failed because of you. Your damnable holding action. Call the Normandy? Can we call the Normandy? My crew will come for me. Oh, let them. We'll be ready. An Alliance warship would make a fine prize. Oh, 
And if you haven't noticed, the ores here are laced with heavy metals. I'm afraid your suit radios aren't powerful enough to transmit out. Don't underestimate me. I'll get you. Yeah, we're going to get this bastard. Make him pay. You'll see me again, Halliot. Count on it. <laughs> I rather doubt that. Goodbye, Shepard. What do we do now, Shepard? I'll kill him. We find a way out. Someone up there needs my boot up his ass. See if there's anything in here we can use. Someone <laughs> here needs uh, someone up there needs a boot in. Oh my word! There's no time to get out. You have to disable the bomb before it goes off. I don't know how to disable no damn bomb. Oh shit! Manually disable hardpoint. Oh, well, we can use Omni Gel. We don't need to learn nothing about fucking disabling bombs. We just use Omni Gel. Put Omni Gel on everything. We're good. Easy. Oh, what if we fail? Oh shit. Not good. Easy. Shepard, you are a fucking amazing at disabling bombs, sir. You disable the bomb. Easy peasy. <laughs> Thank you, Halliot. What the fuck did that update, man? Espionage probe. The probe was a trap set specifically to lure you in. Alanos Halliot, the man who masterminded the attack on Elysium, wants revenge on you for heroically holding the fucking line, friends. Escape from the trap that Halliot has left for you. If possible, take down Halliot as well. We're gonna whoop his ass. Someone up there needs a boot up their ass, and it's gonna be this Halliot person. Halliot? Well, that's interesting. I wonder if this is because we are... Oh, shit. Blocked off the other way. They're block blocked off the way. Oh, this door open now. Anyways, I wonder if this mission is the war hero stuff. Though, is it the war hero stuff? Yeah, it has to be. Because we got the spacer things, but this one would have to be for the war hero because we stopped the attack on Elysium as the war hero. Since we're a space... Oh, where the hell are we? Oh, shit. Is that the Norman? Oh, that's not the Norman. Wait, that's the Mako's down there. The Mako was over here. Wait. Yeah, we're going the right way, I think. Oh, shit. There's a bunch of guys down there. Garrus, you got your snipes? You sure do. Time to get some snipes on. Shall we snipe from here? Or should we sneak down to the Mako? You want to sneak down to the Mako and... No. We're fighting Hallie on foot. Oh, there's a Krogi down there. Oh, there's a couple Krogan. All right, maybe we'll get them. We'll get the Mako. Let's all ass. You mother effers don't see me. <laughs> Just gonna let this shepherd guy run up and jump right into the Mako and blow him all the hell up. Hey guys, nice to see ya. Goodbye, Krogi. Can we leave Halliot for last? Where's he at? Is he here? I don't even see Halliot. <laughs> Maybe Halliot's already dead. Oh, there you are. Should we get on whoop his ass? See ya, Halliot. Have a good one, you fucking plebs. You should have, you should have not conveniently put the Mako down the street so we can fucking get it. Halliot went through a lot of trouble to draw you here. A pity it ended like this, for him at least. Now that you're above ground, your suit radio has reestablished connection with the Normandy. Time to get the hell out of here. See ya, Halliot. Want another one? <laughs> fucking what a pleb. What an absolute pleb. All right, let's head over to the um the X-57 asteroid. See if we can go about starting a DLC. And then, well, that was pretty fucking interesting, friend. I like that one. I'm really digging the side quests in this. I know they're kind of scattered. They seem to be scattered, but they have a charm to them, if that's the right word for it, because 
are they world building with the side quests? They kind of are a little bit here. It's like building to the bigger part of the game here with the side quests. They seem to be, I wouldn't call them scattered, but they're just hidden. Lots of quests are just hidden. If you want my honest opinion, I feel like you could probably complete this game in a few hours if you just went off and did the main stuff. But there's so many nooks and crannies and all these little planets and scanning and all the reading and stuff that builds up to the, the bigger point of the game and getting you sucked into the galaxy. I love it. Asgard? Oh, wow. All right, Thor. Let's go ahead to Asteroid X-57 then. But yeah, I'm really digging the side quest. They don't really seem that long, and we can pack in a few each episode, but I really like them. Well, here's the asteroid here, Terra Nova. Terra Nova was one of the class one colonization prospects discovered by the first wave of Alliance surveys in 2150. It was the second human extrasolar colony and the first beyond the Charon mass relay. It currently has the highest population of any Alliance colony. Wow, look at this place. Can we go there? Though abandoned by a harsh equatorial desert, areas closer to the poles are temperate. The pace of development was modest until extensive deposits of platinum were discovered in the 2170s. This rare metal required in the clean burning hydrogen fuel cells that power private vehicles attracted a platinum rush of immigrants and investment from throughout Alliance space. In the past 12 years, Terra Nova has seen a 30% rise in population and growth does not appear to be slowing. 4.4 million, capital is Scott, 2152. Get out, well there we go. Or, Thor is a huge hydrogen helium gas giant with over 90 moons. Its striking colorization is caused by the light of ionized hydrogen filtering through an upper cloud deck of sodium. The source of the ionization has not yet been confirmed, but Bohr's mass equal to six Jupiters and a high temperature suggests it may be a small brown dwarf. What is that, a pun? Brown dwarf being small. Does that make sense? Are they punning us here with the word dwarf? Because the planet's massive. A large gas giant that gained nearly enough mass to ignite into a small star. Though Bohr's deep gravity well makes mining operation difficult, it is the only gas giant in the system of the hydrogen needed for the local fuel cell industry combined with the ever-present need for helium-3 fusion torch fuel make it economical to mine. Easy peasy. Loki. Loki is a small terrestrial world with the little to recommend it. One hemisphere is largely covered by an ice cap and the other by craggy ballistic highlands. The rough, varied terrain suggests an ancient cataclysm caused significant damage to the world. This is seemingly reinforced by its unusually elliptical orbit, which reaches 6.5 AU at perigee and 7.1 AU at apogee. Penetrating scans of Loki's ice cat reveal a network of crisscrossing subterranean tunnels because some of the tunnels were surprisingly regular in shape and size early expeditions looked for evidence of excavation it was concluded they formed by natural processes loki's thin atmosphere is mainly composed of krypton and xenon when it approaches perigee frozen sulfur trioxides and dioxides can evaporate into clouds on the hemisphere facing asgard motherfucking Asgard. Tyr. There ain't nothing to mine here at all. Tyr is a compositionally quite similar to Earth. However, it lies over 4 AU from Asgard and possesses an atmosphere primarily composed of nitrogen and ethane. While a potential target for terraforming, the presence of the shirt sleeve habitable Terra Nova in the same system relegated tier to a support role. 
Nearly a hundred corporations, human and alien, have constructed extensive teleported mining, refining, and manufacturing facilities across the face of Tyr. Combined with the platinum loads of Terra Nova, the resources they produce are driving development of the local hydrogen fuel cell industries. The Asgard system now supplies nearly 4% of the galactic market. Wow. Population 47,000. 2156. Kalyulador? Kalyulador? Something on the lines? How many people live on Oki? Population. There is no population. Ain't nobody living on Loki. Anybody live on this gas giant? Asteroid X-57. Asteroid X-57 is a metallic asteroid originally located at the trailing Lagrange point of the gas giant bore. With the increased development of Terra Nova, a new orbital port facility was necessary due to a shortage of funding. It was decided to mine out X-57 using the recovered resources to finish out the interior for habitation. The asteroid was decelerated from Bohr's orbit using fusion torches, allowing it to fall into the orbit of Terra Nova. Recently, communications with the engineering team on the X-57 have been lost. The fusion torches have reignited and the asteroid is accelerating towards terra nova oh my word it's gonna crash into terra nova what the world who are we gonna bring for this baby caden liara do we bring biotics or do we bring big bad rex We bring our biotic team for this. Rex wants to whoop somebody's ass. Look at him. Let's bring let's bring Liara, huh? Why not? Let's definitely bring Liara. Status. Sensors reveal three fusion torches propelling asteroid X-57. At its current rate of acceleration. The asteroid will collide with Terra Nova in approximately four hours. Analysis. Torches must be disabled to cease the acceleration. Hello. I heard your transmission. Can you hear me? They haven't found me yet, but I can't talk long. Shut down the fusion torches. I'm going to die. God, I hope you're hearing this. Shut down the fusion torches or everyone's gonna die. Everyone on Terra Nova- Oh my word, look at this thing. Everyone on Terra Nova is gonna get whooped up. Caden, look at him in his pink armor. Hell yeah, Caden, looking good. Looking good. We got medicine. Oh, we really need to stack out medicine, but his barrier- Let's do one in barrier, one in medicine. Let's keep slowly pulling him up. Because his barrier is almost stacked out. He's gonna be like a tank. What's- Oh my word, when's the last time we brought Leora? We got 12 points. Leora, I missed you. We haven't brought her since Novaria, to be honest with you. All right, well, we'll do lift all the way up. One more in scientist. Max that out, baby. Two more in advanced throw. Let's start working on her barrier now. Leora, she's got so many good abilities, man. It's so crazy. All right, well, let's see what we... Whoa. We have a fusion torch here. Transmission tower here. Let's see if we can go around and explore. Let's see. Because we got a fusion torch here. What is this? Transmission tower? I dare say we're probably going to wind up exploring all this together. So let's head on over in... To the transmission tower? Oh, well we got a... We got a question mark right here, right now. Easy peasy. You know, it'd be pretty awesome if they actually did mark all this stuff on the map. But it's cool because I like exploring. Body of... Oh. Logic arrest tool? Garrus, could that be for you or Caden? Hold on. We got Prodigy Amp for... Well, Liara's got a good one, actually. Here, Caden. You have the Prodigy Amp, friend. 
But this is... Oh, Caden, that's cool for you, man. Does Liara have one, too? She does. Yeah, but I want to give that to... Tally or something. We'll be fine. We'll keep that one, just in case. Body of G-Mandal. The victim was badly beaten before being shot with a pistol to the back of the head at close range. It's likely he surrendered only to be executed by his sadistic captors. What the fuck do we got going on here? Two missing engineers? Oh shit. Friends, look at the materials! We only have a few more left! Holy hell. Bring it down the sky. After landing on this small asteroid, you were contacted by a human. Three fusion torches are being used to direct the asteroid into a path of a nearby planet. She's urged you to find the torches and shut them down. Disable the torches. Find three fusion torches and disable them. Missing. Two missing engineers. There are three engineers missing on the surface of X-57, Himes, Mendel, and Montoya. If they're alive, they need to be rescued. If they're not, someone should be told where they are. You found the body of Mendel, but Himes and Montoya are still missing. You found the body of Mendel. All right, Mendel. That's unfortunate. We got some terrorism going on here. Survey Station 3, final entry, logged by Engineer G. Mendel. The central transmission tower is on the fritz again. No one ever listens to my warnings about single points of failure. I'm surprised our surface comms work half as well as they do when Slad shows up to relieve me. I'll go see if I can get the old girl back up and running. Wow. What did that just update? It updated something. It updated map. Well, let's head over to this general area here and knock out this transmission tower. We got some, oh my word, look at this view. Look at Terra Nova. We got some shit going on here though, friends. That person was executed? Someone shot him in the back of the head as they surrendered? What the fuck is going on here? Can we even get up this? Come on, Mako! Little engine that could, baby! Oh, there's something... There's something over there. See it? Like a... What the hell is it? Oh, shit! It looked like a... Turret... Oh! We got something on the map here! Is that actually marked? No, it's definitely not marked. Anyways, what what I'm saying is there's looks like a turret on the map. Shit! Into the hole. Little engine that could, you got this, Mako. Never mind. The Mako can do it. Just take some time, friends. Oh shit! We have another engineer here. I think. Logic arrest. There we go. We got more. Body of T. Slaws? Slodges? How was his name? The scorching on the victim's heart suit suggests he escaped the burning interior of his vehicle only to be gunned down by his assailants. Well, shit. Another one dead. But this is not one that we find. It's not the one that's telling us to find. Look at this. Look at that. Let's go back over here now. We need to be, we need to keep our eyes open for this stuff. Don't fall, Mako. Mako is so great, man. Did you see Halliot? Oh my word. That motherfucker thought it would be so safe to just leave the Mako park halfway across the fucking world. Oh, Shepard won't get out. He don't know how to disable no damn bombs. He's not a specter or nothing. Mako? Look at all the turrets. Man, I'm loving the music. You hear it? Transmitted tower.
Data link between the transmission tower and several survey stations has been restored. Survey station locations are now shown on your map. Oh, that's so cool. Give it to me. Everything's shown on our map. Vehicle wreckage. Survey station two. Survey station one. Well, I think we should head here to this destination first and then make our way over to this station. Knock this out. We'll knock this one out. We'll head over this general way. Then knock this out and then knock this out. Do like a... A Z, kinda, ish, in a way. All right, well, let's head down here. It's gotta be turn- right direction. I don't know who you are, but I'm dead. Kate? Well, we got a name finally. It's a lady named Kate. We know it's a human. Hey! Shit. Man, these things are shooting like crazy. Let's knock this one out first. Come on, sucker. Easy peasy. Can't hit me. Look at all these turrets. These things are sturdy. I love it. They're a bit harder than the normals. The normals take like two hits. Good riddance. Look at all this XP. Whoa, these fusion torches are massive. Wait, there's something over there. We'll get it on the way out. Because, hold on. Let's mark that. Yeah, we'll get it on the way out. We'll come out here, and then go down that way, huh? Oh, I love this. This DLC is mysterious. And what the hell is going on here? Shepherds here, mother effers. Time to save the day. What's up, Caden? How you doing? There's another dead body here. Sniper? Let's see what we're working with with pistol first. Caden's on a pistol. Liara's on pistol. What's up, Liara? How you doing? Can I give you pink armor too? Light Turian. We sure can't. Alright, alright. Come on. Batarians. Barak! Check! Check! We got Batarians here. Eat that! Release the Baron! That was close. Alright, Layara, pull the world. Materians over here doing all types of crazy shit. Well, that makes a lot of sense that it's Materians. Since they are the terrorist type race. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Who else wants some? Good on you, stranger. Fucking wrecked me. Let's grenade him. Watch out, Laura. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> Did you see that grenade? Caden is fucking pissed. Now he's ready, he says. Alright, well, I'm gonna throw you guys out there because shit is getting crazy. Go out there. Boom, rush him. See ya, Snipey. Get on the floor. Come on, Batarians, you fucking scums. Eat that. Oh, we got another one. Oh, Stasis. Definitely missed. Leora, pull him. Kaden, sabotage. Or overload. Whoa. Something out here. Huh. 
fuck no. What? what kind of trickery is this? Fucking Batarian magic over here. That's the last of them. Good job, Liara. Come on, let's high five. Oh, we can't walk under that. No way, it's gonna come down on us, probably. Alright, well, there's a lot of shit and we're still- Oh, grenades! Did you see that grenade? I forgot to blow it up. I keep forgetting that they're grenades. You kinda gotta blow them up. You kinda gotta hit it again. But the G button is like off and over there somewhere, you know? It's always so hard to... to remember to blow it up again. But because we didn't, we were sniping the guy and he just fucking blew the hell up, man. <laughs> oh, this is great. I love it. Oh, let's keep on trekking. There has to be something here that we can do. Is there anything over there now? Fucking Batarians. That is wild, man. We did read in the codexes about Batarians that they're the slave, the race that does a lot of slave trading and stuff. So I'm guessing they're probably here for the people. And now they're just deciding the or their terrorism too. Maybe take the people and then drop this asteroid right on Terra Nova. Oh my lord. You know how much damage this asteroid would do to Terra Nova? The whole planet will be done. At least half of it probably. Was that you? Can you hear Who is this? Who are you? What's going on? My name's Kate Bowman. I'm an engineer. I was part of the team assigned to bring this asteroid to Terra Nova. We were attacked yesterday by Batarian extremists. I've been hiding since they arrived. I think they know the torch went out. What do they want? Yeah, what the hell do they want? Why are they doing this? I don't know, but if this asteroid isn't slowed, millions of people on Terra Nova are going to die. If I find out anything, I'll... I've gotta go. Good luck. You know what I want to say that I really like about this game? It's really rough to say this, but the problems in this game are not really fucking small. I know that sounds weird and I said that I like it, but I do like it because it's not like, oh, we have to stop this mission from happening. We got to stop doing whatever this is because the people on this specific area will be in trouble. No, everything is like... World shaking, galaxy shaking shit, friends. Literally. The whole Reaper thing, the whole Saren thing, this asteroid is going to destroy a whole fucking planet. Literally. And we are here to stop it. It's not like we're gonna stop just anything small. Hey. Duncan oh, Cover! Gosh. I didn't mean to. Are you hurt? Mother Ever? What were you thinking? You can't go firing your weapon at everything that moves. What the hell's wrong with you? Sorry. I thought you were one of them. Are you blind or just stupid? Leave the fighting to me from now on. Commander Shepard, Systems Alliance. Simon. Simon Atwell. I'm the chief engineer on this rock. Listen, we don't have much time. The Batarians fired up the fusion torches. You've got to shut them down before we hit Terra Nova. There are four million people down there, Shepard. I... my family. They live in Aronis. My kids and grandkids. Nice community. Good schools. How bad is this going to be? I understand the situation. Yeah, how bad is this really going to be? I know that it could probably destroy the planet, but... I mean, how bad can we get? You can't get any worse than that. I don't have time to do the math in my head. What happens if we don't stop this rock? X-57 is 22 kilometers long, twice the size of the asteroid that wiped out the Earth's dinosaurs. It would be like millions of fusion bombs striking at once. Millions. The heat of the blast. A thousand kilometers away, clothes will ignite. There'll be global wildfires. Air shock will flatten everything for hundreds of kilometers. Terra Nova will die, Shepard. Not just our colony. The planet. There'll be a climate shift. Mass extinctions. The ecosystem won't recover for thousands of years. Millions, maybe. What if it lands in water? But wouldn't that be worse if it lands in water? Is there any chance it'll land in the oceans? That would be even worse. Tsunamis would sweep inland at hundreds of kilometers per hour. Millions of tons of water would be vaporized at the point of impact. Global cloud coverage. The plants could all die, and if they go, the whole ecosystem rolls over. I'd have to run the numbers, but take my word for it. It'd be bad. Alien bastards? Well, you can't blame just all aliens. 
It's just the Batarians doing this right now. I think that's all I need. Why would they do this? This doesn't make any sense. Batarians run criminal gangs. Unethical, but profitable. They don't destroy worlds. What does this gain them? I've heard all the stories. Slave rings ranching people like animals. Pirate bands burning colonies to the ground. But this is... The Citadel Conventions forbid asteroid drops. I never thought the Batarians would go this far. When we read about the Batarians, or just their... When our, we talked to our mother about the Batarians, what they would do to slaves, friends? They're pretty fucking... Serious. Why wouldn't they? They're not all like this? Most Batarians aren't genocidal madmen, but these ones are terrorists. Yeah, I know. It's just... This isn't how I expected the world to be when I rolled out of bed this morning. Well, I guess so. That's when... When you least expect things is when things happen. You were on the ground when this happened. How many Batarians have you seen? And where? They landed at the main facility. It's locked down now. They've changed the passcodes. No idea what's going on inside. I did see groups head out to each of the torch stations. Couldn't say how many, though. Enough to give you a fight. See, that's an interesting dialogue when... We just picked and said not all are like that. We don't really know, actually. We should have picked why wouldn't they? Because all the Batarians that we've ever came in contact with, this is the first time we've ever seen Batarians. But reading about the Batarians and then Shepard's past with Batarians, everyone that he's came in contact with has been hostile. So, yeah. Any idea who's behind this? Who's leading them? That might provide a clue. I heard a couple of them talking. They mentioned a Balak. It sounded like he's the one in charge. They didn't seem convinced this was a good idea, but they were scared of the guy. Scared enough to do what he wanted. A Balak? Batarians everywhere, and I need to shut down all three torches. Anything else I should know? One of the torches is surrounded by live blasting caps. We were set up to excavate when we arrived at Terra Nova. I rigged them with proximity detectors. That tank of yours will set them off, so you'll have to go in on foot. Even then, they'll explode if you get too close. Just go slow and easy. You should be fine. Can you shut them off? Yeah. You set them up. Can you disable them? Not from here. No. There are manual controls by the entrance to the torch facility inside the blast zone. You can disarm the caps there. One last thing. I had a crew working off-site when the attack hit. I'm worried about them. These Batarians are ruthless. I saw them smash the faceplates of guys working vacuum. And those Varen. I don't think they always wait for a corpse before feeding. Any idea where I can find them? They were running checks on our perimeter equipment. Easiest thing would be to tap into the transmission tower out on the surface. The equipment stations will show up on your sensors. At least one is dead? Well, let's just say we'll do what we can. Let's not tell him his crew is dead yet. I'll look for them, but the torches have to be my priority. Yeah, you're right. Saving Terra Nova is more important than my team. There were a bunch of engineers over at the main facility, but they're probably all dead. That or being held hostage by the Batarians. One of them got away, yeah, the Lady Kate. A woman named Kate Bowman contacted me. The Batarians haven't found her yet. Katie's alive. She's one of my best engineers. She signed on with her brother, Aaron, I, th I think his name is. He's part of the security detail. I hope they're okay. Evacuate Terra Nova? Give me a worst case scenario. We can't stop the asteroid. Could the colony be evacuated? Evac? Shepard. It took 30 years for the population to grow that large. I'm sure they're moving people to remote areas, but they'd never be able to get more than a few thousand off-world. We just don't have enough ships. No one does. Well, maybe the Quarians, but I don't see them suddenly showing up and offering us a ride. They probably won't. Who even knows where the Quarians are? They definitely won't get here in time. Why were you moving this thing in the first place? Well, the idea was to drag it into Terra Nova's orbit, mine it out, and in the end you'd have a basic structure for an orbital station. It's a lot cheaper than getting everything up into orbit from the planet's surface. The minerals we extract almost cover the costs. What can you tell me about Kate? Smart as a whip and bold as they come. I hope she keeps hidden. If they find her... Oh, Katie. Don't do anything stupid. Stay out of sight? Yeah, stay out of sight, man. You'd better find a good place to hide. If the Batarians come back and find you... Yeah. I think I'll make myself scarce. Good luck, Shepard. Take it easy, Varric. Have a good one, man. It's been a pleasure. You better stay hiding, yeah. Alright, well, let's head out to... We'll do... Let's go get that question mark out here. 
We have a name of the leader, something about a Balak. We shut down this fusion torch. We need to get to the other ones. We have engineers to look for. We have Varric over here that's alive. And now we have Kate that we need to get to. Somewhere. She's still alive, obviously. But the Batarians are probably catching wind. Where the fuck is that? How are you going to get up there? Holy moly. Mako, you ain't climbing this, Mako. There ain't no possible way. Never mind. Mako is definitely climbing that like it's nothing. What the hell? I'm on my way. All right, Caden. Calm down, man. This computer is filled with operation logs and personal journals. For a small pirate music station operated by X-57 engineers, it includes scripts for several promotional messages, none of which appear to have been recorded. Radio X-57 rocking this rock since 2182. Radio X-57, when your world seems hollow, we help you touch the sky. Radio X-57, talk hard. Radio X-57, your last best hope for rock within 300,000 kilometers. Huh. Fucking Feliz Navidad, friends. Oh, so great. Absolutely great. We have a fusion torch here. Let's go over to this destination. <laughs> I love it. Play all the time. Can we play that in the Mako? Holy shit. Get out of here, man. I love it. We'll head to this one and then we'll read something in the codexes. Then we'll head out. Because it's been quite a long one here. This is an interesting one. I'm actually severely sad that... The whatever other one, the other DLC did not import or something like that into this. Because this DLC so far seems to be really interesting. I'm sure the other one was interesting too. To though position. it makes me wonder though, friends, seriously. And... Hostile contact. Come on, let's fuck him up. Who is it? Negative contacts, Commander. Caden, you're getting antsy, huh? Anyways, it makes me wonder, the other one... I'm not talking about this one, because I don't want to know about this one. But the other one that didn't import, whatever DLC that name is of that DLC, I don't know. But the name of that DLC, or just that DLC in Jet Alders Himes. This body has severe burns and shows signs of major concussive trauma. Mercifully, the explosion would have killed her instantaneously. What? This is Dr. Himes. They found me, damn Batarians. I can hear them out there prowling around, trying to find a way in. It sounds like they're attaching something to the door. If I don't make it, tell my family I love them. Damn. Poor lady. Anyways, what I'm saying is, the other DLC, because we're missing it, are we going to miss something that might be important to other game? Because this game has a lot of choices, and we've been discussing some things that this game in general, Mass Effect as a whole, they really incorporate your choices, friends. From the many choices that you do in this game, like everything seems to matter, okay? So stuff gets crossed over to the second, third one. I don't know because I haven't played them. But I'm saying, in general, is this whatever DLC that didn't cross over into this Legendary Edition, are we gonna miss out on stuff because it didn't actually cross over? You know what I mean? Because there may be things from this DLC that may cross over into the other games. And... Just don't know because if we're missing a DLC, that's kind of rough. That's kind of shitty, you know Well, let's get a bit closer and then We'll save and read some codexes, huh? I'm actually really excited to start reading more of these codexes. I Want to get a good deal at least to each episode, but I want to start getting a bit more As well I'm gonna start getting a bit more because I would like to get done with these codexes. And the thing is with the codexes... Oh, look at that. Wow. If we come to the point of where it's actually getting towards the end of the game, we're gonna to need to make a codex video, which is fine. I don't mind. Let's do two more and lift. Because I want to pack in all the knowledge 
for the second and third game. Cadence Barrier mastered. Liara, what do you got going on? How about we give you more barrier, Liara? You're an absolute beast now. All right, codexes, baby! Nothing came up in here. Update bringing down the sky. Technology translation. Human cultures remain linguistically divided. Some converse in Spanish, others in Mandarin, Arabic, Swahili, etc. Every alien race has their own equally broad panoply of languages and dialects. Most individuals know only their mother tongue and reply on machine transmissions. Modern portable computers allow anyone with a few hundred credits to equip to enjoy seamless real-time translation of alien languages. Oh, wow. So you can do it from your maybe your Omnitool type of thing? Courtesy of handheld PDAs, computers, and clothing, or jewelry, or subdermal implants without fast and accurate translation, galactic trade and culture could not exist. I was wondering this, friends. I've been wondering all along if these, when the aliens actually talk, they're not even really speaking in English, but they're talking in their other language, but it just sounds like English because, you know, game purposes wise. But I wonder in tell, are they actually speaking alien language and we understand them? But now I know. So that's really cool. Governments provide subsides software updated through the public extranet on the fly, often as user approach, spaceport custom facilities. Even the Batarians who isolated themselves from galactic society nearly two decades ago take pains to provide up to date glossaries and logistic rules, though most suspect this only so they can continue exporting propaganda. It is still considered broad-minded and practical to be able to speak without machine aid. Children often take courses in alien language and most races can speak the simplified artificial trade tongue with little difficulty. Some species must rely on machine translation to interact with the rest of the galaxy. Hanar, for example, cannot reproduce the spoken language of any humanoid species, and other races cannot reproduce Hanar bioluminescence without mechanical aid. Newly discovered or obscure races don't have machine translation available until the linguists have had time to study them. Well, that is so fucking cool and interesting, man. What do we got here, baby? Solarian biology. Solarians are noted for their high-speed metabolism, which allows them to function on just one hour of sleep a day. One hour of sleep? What the fuck? Their minds and bodies work faster than most sapient races, making them seem restless and hyperactive. The drawback of this active metabolism is a short lifespan of around 40 human years. They only live 40? I know that they said that Solarians don't live long, but 40 years? The Solarians are amphibian, haplodiploid egg layers. Unfertilized eggs produce males and fertilized eggs produce females. Once a year, a Solarian female will lay a clutch of dozen of eggs. Social rules prevent all but fraction from being fertilized. As a result, 90% of the species is male. Wow. Solarians have photographic memories and rarely forget a fact. They also possess a form of psychological imprinting tending to defer to those they knew in their youth. Solarian hatching is a solemn ritual in which the clan Dalatris, matriarch, isolates herself with the eggs. The young Solarians psychologically imprint on her and tend to defer to her wishes. During the hatching of daughters, the Dalatrasses of the mother and father clans are present at the imprinting this ensures the offspring have equal loyalty to both, ensuring the desired dynastic and political unity. Wow, friends. The League of One. Look. Before the joining of the Citadel Council, the Solarian's most prominent military tool was a small reconnaissance team known as the League of One. Their primary training was in espionage and assassinations. Never more than a dozen strong, the team was adept at infiltrating the tightest defenses and eliminating all necessary obstacles. Only a few top members of government and military were privy to the League's identities. League members wore no distinguishing garments and held no particular rank. The only evidence of their participation in the League was a small medallion presented 
to each member upon induction. This secrecy was maintained until the formation of the council in an effort to dispel rumors and appease their new Asari partners, the Salarian Union released all classified documents pertaining to the League. The League of One was suddenly exposed and in danger of being hunted by enemies of the Salarians. Before any harm could be done, the team mysteriously disappeared. Most assumed this was a convenient lie to help hide their identities. But a few months later, the inner cabinet was murdered. Though there was no incriminating evidence, it was clear who was responsible. Realizing the threat posed by the rogue outfit, the special task group dispatched a team of hunters. When they didn't return, the SCG dispatched 10 of its brightest operators. With broad discretionary power, only two remain. They reported no evidence of the League. No further incidents were reported and it was assumed the League was wiped out. Some recently disclassified documents, however, have suggested there may have been a 13th member who eluded the Salarian military. Wow, so there's one member of the League probably still alive? Did the Salarians take the League out? Or did they really get hunted by their enemies? You know, it makes me somewhat... It did say that they could have been hunted down by their enemies, but it makes me feel like the Salarians want to silence them. The League, for some reason, once they were appeasing to the Asari. But wow, that sounds so fucking interesting. So this one member of the League, I hope we get to meet that person. Salarian intelligence field agents are grouped into an organization called the Special Task Group. STG operations work in independent cells, performing dangerous missions such as counterterrorism, infiltration, reconnaissance, assassination, and sabotage. Man, the Salarians are so interesting, friends. We probably actually won't meet the League of One person because they live so short lives that this was probably a long time ago. The SCG is a proactive organization puncturing worrisome trends before they become movements. At any time, a dozen groups are operating covertly within the lawless terminus system, sowing dissent among the various factions. Civilian analysis also note how troublesome hinge point individuals in terminus frequently meet unexpected deaths. STG operations are feared throughout the galaxy for their clear eyed, remorseless practicality. They are willing to do whatever it takes to achieve their mission even if it kills civilians or results in the team's own destruction. In many ways they are akin to the council specters. I was just about to say that. I was about to say I wonder if the specters were like formed because of this STG. Interesting. Recently a member of the STG cells have been redeployed from Salarian Union. It assumes they are in the Terminus and Attican Traverse, investigating reports of guest activity beyond the Perseus Veil. Wow, friends. That's so cool. Alright, when we get back, we'll read about the Turians. Wait. Oh, this is Alliance Race. I'm about to say, where's the Krogan? The Krogan aren't Alliance Races. Gotcha. Or Council Races. Alright, well, that's enough for now. When we get back, we'll head to the rest of X-57 and take it from there. But anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Take it easy. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.